Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to a weekly message from Jesus. Uh, I'm Barry Strom. I'll be doing the channeling. Every week we bring you these wonderful messages. So our Father's waiting, so we will begin. Good morning, everybody. This morning, I'm going to speak to you about the difference between knowledge and wisdom. It's very easy to obtain knowledge. Many people do it. Many people don't. Many people now are relying on perhaps social media to gain your knowledge. There is so much that is available to you at this time that is not accurate. Sadly, you cannot even rely upon your news networks for information. Many of them have got ulterior motives in what they're telling you. They have political candidates that they feel know more than anybody else, that know more than the people. They feel that if they manipulate the information, then the people can be easily manipulated. And they will come around to their viewpoint and elect the candidates that they want. This is what happened in Nazi Germany. It's happening in Russia currently. Those poor people have no idea what's going on around them, but they're starting to understand. They're starting to see their loved ones being taken into the army and being killed. That, that makes a pretty big impression on them. So you see, Russia is a great example of what propaganda can do to mislead the people. So knowledge, just what is knowledge? Knowledge is information. Knowledge is information that you pick up. Some people are more adept at picking up and retaining knowledge than others, and that's according to their life plans, that's fine. There are some people that are sent back to obtain great knowledge I arrange that. It's a blessing. I arrange people to have great knowledge so that they can accomplish great things. Now, where does knowledge become wisdom? You can use that knowledge to harm others. Many people use that great knowledge to become politicians, to gain wealth, to gain power. The last thing in their minds is to do what the people would have them do. They can use that knowledge to protect the innocents or to gain wealth and power. Sadly, money, money, money does not lead to why, where I had hoped it would lead. The people that use their money to create power, wealth, to not do any charity, to do not help others, you see, those people have no wisdom. Wisdom is using the knowledge to help others. Wisdom is using the knowledge that I bless you with to go out and show others the way, to make life easier for others. Maybe you can use wisdom as a judge. Now, sadly, many of the judges have become political as well, but a person with true wisdom knows the difference between right and wrong. Now, isn't it strange to you that great knowledge leads to knowing right and wrong, the simplest of all concepts? Yes, that is the great conundrum of which humans live. You can use knowledge to harm others, or you can use them to help others. Now, common sense tells you that you should not use the wisdom that I've blessed you with to harm people. Many do. Many harm people without even realizing it. I'll give you an example. People have great wisdom now concerning how the economies of the world work. 
they failed to use that wisdom to stop this terrible inflation that is harming many, many people. That knowledge is actually going to waste because look what's happening. The average person is suffering greatly from the increase in the cost of living. Now, I don't want to sound like an economist because I'm not. I can if I want to, but I let people have great knowledge in the areas of economy, hoping that they would use that knowledge so that people could have a stable life. Many people have used that knowledge for political gain. Now, bear in mind, there's many people gain when and during times of inflation that you're seeing. There's companies that don't hesitate to, to raise their prices indiscriminately because it can be the inflation can be used as an excuse for it. And that's what's taking place. So all those individuals that I let have all this knowledge in economics have shown no wisdom. You see, wisdom would have pre prevented what is taking place. Wisdom would have simply showed them the difference between right and wrong. Now there are many out there that are showing wisdom. They use the knowledge that they have to help others. Many of them don't. They think that they're very smart. Oh, they got all the knowledge in the world. I have made all this money. And I'm going to keep it because I'm going to take it with me when I die. Well, guess what? You're not going to. I tell you this every week. You will come to heaven with this as a newborn child. Newborn child don't own anything. And you won't own a thing either, but your soul and how you use the knowledge will determine how that soul is treated when it returns to heaven. Oh, it's not going to be sent to a place of burning hell. That doesn't exist. I've told you that many times. And it makes no sense. Why would I send a soul to a place where it does not have the ability to be rehabilitated and to live additional lives where they would do good? If I sent all the bad, bad souls to hell, there wouldn't be any souls. It would just be this vast nothingness. I want your souls to use the knowledge that they have. I want them to use the knowledge that they have to convert it to wisdom and to use that wisdom to assist others, to help them, to show them the way to protect them, to provide wise lawmakers, peacemakers, to use that wisdom to compromise. Now, that is a word that's almost missing in most of the governments today. People use the wisdom they have to basically set up opposing armies. That's what your, po your political system has created for your political parties now. They're almost like two armies that are facing off against each other. They, those armies, those political armies are trying to influence your judicial system. Your judicial system was set up to provide a great equality between everyone in the country. There are politicians that are using what they think is knowledge to try to influence your judiciary, which is meant to assure a great equality. You see, they don't want equality. Most of your politicians, the last thing they want is equality. They look down on you. Do you think that they consider the person in the street that has been destroyed by their actions to be equal with the elitist attitudes that they have? No. They show no common sense. They can stick their heads in the sand and say, no, I'm my soul's perfect. I'm living this great life. I have power. I have all these great things. But you see, they have not taken the knowledge that I have allowed them to learn to show the wisdom of the ages. 
very few have actually learned to show the wisdom. That's why most of the great cultures have failed. That's why many of the countries are going to fail today. In countries like Cuba or China, they've used the wisdom to choose communism and socialism. That's not the way of God. That's not my way. Yes, they think it's going to create a great equality, but it's not. You always see that there are people that will use their knowledge to try to help. To Some help, some will try to hurt. In communism, there are very few that have great powers. And what it has done, those people have driven the common person even lower in their economic and emotional standings. Wisdom. Wisdom is simply learning how to use your knowledge to show others the way to follow my words. Solomon showed great wisdom. He tried. He had he made wonderful decisions. He had wisdom. Moses had wisdom. Muhammad had wisdom. All of the great leaders show wisdom. Although many of them didn't have that much knowledge because there wasn't that much things to learn. In the early times, the ancients didn't have access to books and all the things that you think give you knowledge. So knowledge can be good or bad. Wisdom is always good. Think about that. Use the knowledge that you have to show wisdom towards others. Wisdom is showing wise guidance. It's helping. It's showing charity. It's doing all of the wonderful things that I want you to do. Many of you have true wisdom, and I'm very, very proud of you. I see when you help others. Your guides know. We all know. Use the knowledge that you have to show the wisdom of the ages. It's very simple to gain wisdom. Use your knowledge to follow my teachings. That's all that's required. Pretty simple. So once again, I thank you for listening. Please tell your friends about my messages. Please use your knowledge to show the wisdom of my, of my teachings and use it to help others. So once again, I'm going to bless all of you that are here and are listening. Please tell your friends. I think that my messages are pretty good. I think today was a good one. I think you'll be able to understand things differently now. Sometimes you just have to hear the message. The message is knowledge. What you do with it is wisdom. Bless all of you. I will be back again next week. Thank you very much. Okay, there you have it. Another wonderful message from our father. He truly has the wisdom of the ages, but then he is God, so he should. Try to be more godlike. Use that knowledge and gain wisdom. We'll be back again next week. Thank you so much for listening. And please follow his words and tell your friends about us. Goodbye. Thank mm-hmm.